guys welcome back to a new video today i'm with a new seat arona hola experience version and in this video i will make the full review for you interior exterior i will show you everything about this new seat arona so stay with me until the end of the video if you want to find out everything guys this is the facelift version 2022 model and yeah i'm right here in switzerland if you are in switzerland around switzerland guys check out tehash willy i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to test drive the car check them out guys in zurich also uh, i want to talk a little bit about the price in the beginning the basis price of this model the model that i have here is the one liter petrol tsi engine eco tsi engine with three cylinder 110 horsepower with a seven speed automatic transmission dsg the starting price is 34,050 francs it's a pretty good starting price for what this car can offer and actually here guys you have a hola bonus right here you can see down here guys if you come at tehash willy you will have a great bonus and the price will be even cheaper than the basis price so the price the final price will be 32,830 francs this is incredible to be honest and the color it's also 600 and with the color included and with those options included you will have a great price for a cross suv city cross suv that offer you a lot of things guys wait to see in this video how many cool things this car offer in this price so it's a good price down here you can see that the car come also with some uh, optional things like fully digital cockpit 450 francs totally deserved to take it uh, then you have the seat connectivity box 250 you have also the navi xl 150 and then yeah the bonus down here it's totally deserved to, to get those options the options are super super cheap in comparison with other cars manufacturer and also i want to give you some technical data the car have the weight of the car 1327 kilograms 6.9 liter consumption 156 co2 grams now let's go a little bit deeper in detail so as i said the car come with a one liter petrol engine three cylinders in line 110 horsepower 200 newton meter it's a front wheel drive connected with a seven speed automatic dual clutch transmission the fuel tank capacity 40 liters top speed 190 kilometers zero to 100 in 11 seconds it's a little bit slower because they focus more on economy more on the normal driving style i should say the car come with ventilated brake discs in the front and brake discs on the rear also the model that i have it with me have 17 inch rims and uh, the turning radius 10.6 meter the trunk space the boot capacity in my opinion it's pretty pretty big and very practical 400 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1280 liters the car come with independent mcpherson coil spring suspension on the front semi-independent coil spring suspension on the rear those are the most important technical data guys if i miss something ask me down below let's review the car and then in the end we will make the conclusion here we are here is the key it's a simple key that volkswagen group used it for many years and yeah it's nothing new here also the trunk it's manual that's something to keep in mind what you can do with a key of course lock the car unlock the car and that's something to keep in mind is the fact that it comes with keyless entry so all you have to do put your finger here to lock it and hand here to unlock it like all the volkswagen group cars so now i want to go inside guys i want to turn on the lights and i want to talk a little bit about the exterior design all right guys i just turned on the lights so let's make a tour around the car and talk a little bit about the design exterior design in terms of changes the size of the car it's very similar with the previous version a little bit of change in terms of design it's kind of a facelift and i like very much the back of the car the way they designed it. i will talk a little bit later about that uh, the side of the car it's also very simple very similar with the previous version and the front of the car also a little bit of changes here and there the grill it's a little bit different the bumper in the front the lights and yeah it's it's much nicer than the previous version it start to look a little bit like an audi q5 if i'm not wrong in terms of lights and sharp edges i like very much the car it's 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 nice even the back of the car look at this guys look at the lights doesn't remember you of something doesn't look the lights like a little bit like a woody q5 
with those lines here, I don't know, it's very, very similar. It's like, like the baby Q5. Anyway, I like it. Uh, one of my favorite things are the lights and the lines here, the curved lines on white cars, you can see very well the lines and uh, I choose to review a white car because you can see the sharp edges, you can see the lines, everything that they add to the car, you can see it very simple. Anyway, in terms of the exterior design, very nice car. I love the fact that most of the lights are LED lights. Anyway, let's start with the upper side. Up here we have some roof rails with a little bit of chrome. The same chrome we find it around here around the windows um, and I think they fit quite well also with the rims in the same silver color as the chrome look look lovely. Up here on the roof you have also some kind of lines. I don't know if you can see it right now it's raining but you can see the sharp edges the sharp lines up there on the roof look lovely. Even the radio antenna it's nice it's small actually it's not small because it's missing that piece here so usually it's so long but yeah the roof it's in black it looks nice also the way it continuing with the uh, roof spoiler here look quite nice glossy black plastic around. Uh, the side here also you have the brake light, LED light, it's nice, it's nice. The upper part of the car look quite quite nice. Here you have this X uh, in chrome around the edges of the windows. On the down part you have some chrome, you have glossy plastic between here, uh, quite big window so the visibility should be fine. We will go inside and we will see that. On the side here you can see the lines, the sharp edges lines, try to make it a little bit more aggressive then you have the handle very similar kind of the same handle as Volkswagen Group use it for many years now and yeah here down oh, the same sharp edges lines um, that make the car look much more sportier let's try to do that uh, talking a little bit about the mirrors they are kind of nice designed uh, quite small I wish it was a little bit bigger but the fact that they are small it's better for aerodynamic and for the consumption in general they are in black and I like that I like the two colors car like the roof in, in, in glossy black plastic and the mirrors in glossy black plastic LED lights on the turning signals that's a plus I like that and yeah other than that if I'm not wrong the blind spot technology should be here around on the side. I don't think this car come with the uh, blind spot technology or it's on the mirror. It doesn't come with. Pretty strange. Anyway, normally it should come with. Again, another thing that I like very much is the plastic around the wheels. The fact that they add these plastic protections it's awesome i mean in in all kind of weather like snowing today like uh, raining like rust you, you will you will also avoid rust in this area here and the car the paint of the car will be protected all over down here you can see is that plastic that protect the down part of the car and even on the door so if you open the door you can see you open with that plastic that you can change it very easy and it will protect the door in terms of quality of the doors mm, yeah, they can do better than that, but it's okay. Even in the back here, the same story, the same plastic that protect the, the edge of the car, that's awesome. Yeah, I like that. This is very practical. Practicality, it's one of my favorite things on a car. Here on the right side, we have the tank, the petrol tank, it's here. Keep in mind, it's on the passenger side. Six sensors on the rear, so you have those sensors on the side. So usually the blind spot should be there. I will check when I go inside. Then you have also some kind of matte plastic, some light reflectors down here. Really interesting, some kind of fake exhaust pipes with this silver matte color on the bumper down here. It looks really interesting, look really fine. And I think if you hit this, if you go reverse and hit something with this plastic, you will not be so sad because you can change it very easily. Should not be so expensive. The real exhaust pipes are down here on the left side. You can see it. Arona writing here, quite nice. I like the way they write it. Also Seat logo. We have uh, LED lights on the number plate. That's awesome. And also a reverse camera, three dimensional lights lovely lights even the fog lamps it's led the only thing that are not led and are normal bulb light is just the turning signals i don't know why why they choose that and the reverse light it's also a uh, normal halogen light you can see it on the right side here i don't know why they choose to do that but anyway it looks lovely here the car come with the camera sensors for raining and light and the camera to read the traffic speed limit and uh, help the autopilot the car come also with this travel assist from Volkswagen. You have the radar down here, 
for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features. Also in the front, if you look at the hood, quite interesting hood, the way they, they design those lines. Look at this line, it's like a lip here. Really interesting, sharp design. And also the bumper down there look quite sporty, a little bit aggressive. The fog light, the way they integrated there, look aggressive, like a, like a strong SUV. Here you have some air intakes, guys. Actually, the air will go inside there, then go outside here on the side. That helped aerodynamic six sensors in the front uh, as well. And then down here you have the air intakes, the grill, that all the air to go there to the radiator and then to cool down the different parts. Again, some entrance here. This is the new grill with some kind of chrome design, Seat logo and some kind of chrome lines here. Beautiful. In my opinion, look beautiful. I like the fact that you have LED lights on the fog lamps and they are somehow a little bit higher here. I don't know why it's the reason, but they put it a little bit higher. It looks nice. Anyway, going to the lights, again, something that I like very much. Uh, we have kind of almost the latest technology in terms of lights from Volkswagen Group. It looks just lovely. And also the turning signals, uh, the daylight, the high beam, the low beam. Uh, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. In terms of lights, uh, Volkswagen Group, they are one of the best on the market. It's look beautiful. Right now we have winter tires. They, they install already the winter tires, 17 inch rims, uh, ventilated brake discs on the front. The rims look good. I think they fit quite nice, this color, this silver color with the car. Uh, so ventilated brake discs in the front. On the rear only brake discs. This is it guys, 17 look perfect, feel perfect in the winter. For the winter time it's just, it's just fine. But where is the blind spot? Why is not there? We have so many sensors on the car and the blind spot technology, I can't see it. I don't understand that, why? Anyway, let me open the hood. Maybe something is missing, but I don't think. Why so many sensors and no blind spot? Now here guys, here is the engine. One liter engine, three cylinders. This is the array. Here's the filter, the battery. Fuse box, everything it's in kind of the same array. Simple, I just want to show you, I just want to point this out. Also what impressed me is that no insulation here on the hood. Uh, usually here we have some insulation, sound insulation, but they chose not to add that. Maybe that's why the car have a good price. Uh, the price of the car is relatively good for this car. What this car can offer with the technology, with lights, with the size, with the brand new car, the price is super good. And that's why maybe they have to cut the cost here and there. That's my opinion. But the car is super nice. Anyway, let's go in the trunk. Uh, you have also manual lift gate right here. Uh, up here you have some handles, two handles, manual handles to close it. You have a protection for the trunk. I will take it out and I will show you. Uh, this is a trunk. The entrance in the trunk, it's big big enough to fit a lot of stuff. Have some plastic at the entrance here. Hooks in every corner, so you can put uh, a lot of things. You have space here. You have a normal bulb light, a yellow light, no LED. Also some net here. Uh, the great part is, guys, it comes now. Look at this. You can put this in every position you want. Right now it's down, you have like 10 to 50 centi 15 centimeters. And under here you have a huge space. But if you wanna make a flat floor, you take this up, you put it a little bit upper. It's hard to do that with one hand. And then you have almost a flat floor here. Look at this. This is practical. This is practical. And go down and then here you can put a spare tire. Right now it doesn't have, but you can put a spare tire right here without any problem. Also, you can put this like that. You don't have to hold it. Um, and you can take this repair kit out uh, and put a spare tire without any problem there. Super practical. I like that. Let me take out this. I will fold down the seat and I will show you also the rest. All right, guys, I just take out that protection. Here is the space one more time. Here's the trunk, pretty spacious for the size of the car. Uh, the entrance and, and the, the space here is good. Now, the only downside now start in the middle, you cannot fold the middle part. You cannot carry skis or like long items in the middle. You will have to fold down the seats. It's easy to fold it down, but that's something to keep in mind. Uh, also, if you fold down the seat, let me show you something. Let me put the headrest a little bit forward. You can see like you have almost a flat floor. And you can see it from the back here. 
the way it looks almost a flat floor it's very practical look at this almost there very practical you can put a lot of things right here without any problem um, and I like it I like the way it is uh, I like the practicality I like the space I like the fact that you have almost a lot of space down here as well and yeah love it also if you look from the side the entrance in the car is relatively fine uh, it's a lot of space right here you can see it also from this angle um, yeah it's quite good quite good nothing to say and also the quality here it's relatively good you have some storage space on the legs room right there even though you have a big transmission tunnel um, the space it's relatively good so yeah let me put everything back and then we will go inside the car first of all i want to show you the um, the back door for example the window you can fold it almost almost down you cannot fold it all the way down it's from one piece that allow you to have a better visibility and i'll show you when i go inside uh, the design of the door it's simple pretty simple nothing crazy here but it's nice uh, the only thing is that on the upper side we have plastic the handle here is nice and even in this area we don't have any soft material it's something that i wish to have here in this area but other than that very nice design you have the button electric windows storage space relatively good and then you have a speaker here now entrance in the car the entrance is quite big so you don't have to worry in terms of uh, entering in the car also relatively good space here in the back i will go inside and i'll show you also the space talking a little bit about the seats we have here leather seats and in the middle it feels like alcantara i'm not sure if it's alcantara i don't think it is but it feels like it's alcantara in the middle and on the side we have leather very good quality in terms of seats i like them uh, also here big seats wide enough so the quality on the seat it's super super good they are super comfortable i sit on them i like them very much you have isofix for child you can install two child seats right here leather in the middle quite a flat floor in the middle here that allow you to have a better uh, position here in the middle again we don't have any armrest any cup holder so that's again kind of a small downside for some people behind the front seats we have leather everywhere i like that very much some storage space and yeah let's go inside close the door in terms of space huge space on my head 173 centimeters a lot of space on my head guys in terms of space it feels awesome visibility it's also good you have uh, a window a small window here and you have a good visibility in this area forward you, you see really good the position on those seats it's very good i like it uh, and the leg space you can see for yourself in terms of space it's really really good and this is kind of my driving position uh, I already set the seats in my driving position, maybe a little bit backward. You can also put it a little bit forward and then you will see that you will have even more space. So I'm not worried about the space. You can put your legs also under the front seat uh, straight a little bit there. And yeah, it's relatively good. Up here on the roof, you have also those normal bulb lights. So no LED up here, guys. That's something to keep in mind. And also the roof from 1 to 10, I will give it a 5 or something like that. Uh, it's not the best, it's not the medium, uh, but it's not the worst, so it's a little bit better. Let's go in the middle, we have a transmission tunnel also here in the middle, no vents, no USB, nothing, at least on this uh, version of the car. Let's go in the middle, also the price is quite good, so guys don't expect too many crazy things. Now, uh, pretty good space on the legs here, on the knees, pretty good space uh, also so in my opinion for me it's just perfect also on my head i have more than enough space uh, to sit here i can stretch my hand almost completely and also here the same so three people can sit here uh, without any problem even for long trips so overall good quality here in the back let's talk a little bit about the dashboard design uh, in terms of dashboard design it's wonderful i mean i love it seat makes such a nice design on the cars um, I love the design, I love the interiors, uh, also it comes with this new multimedia system that it's awesome and yeah look at it guys, look at it, it's modern, it's nice, it's young, it's fresh, it's, it's beautiful. Anyway, let's go in the front uh, and let me show you all there. All right, guys, before we go inside, let's talk a little bit about the front door. This time we have a bigger window from one piece, 
That means you have a wonderful visibility uh, on the side and also in the mirror. Here on the design of the door, it's nicer than in the back and also the quality is better. Up here, we still have plastic. Here we have a nice, nice design, a blue kind of blue matte plastic. Then we have a handle uh, here in this area. You have leather everywhere and here leather as well with these white stitches. Wonderful design. You have the buttons uh, for electric windows. Then you have electric adjustable mirrors and also folding mirrors, something that I didn't show you in the beginning. Usually I show you in the beginning, but keep in mind that the car comes with folding mirrors. Plenty of storage space in the door bands here. Lovely storage space. Speaker here, entrance in the car. It's big enough. So you have a lot, a lot of space to come in. Uh, and then those are the seats, the same as in the back, the same quality, same material same leather with that kind of Alcantara. Um, they are wonderful. They are super comfortable. I sit on them, I drive the car and it's wonderful. You have side support, leather, side support down here. They are wide, they are big, super, super comfortable. I know the cars from Volkswagen Group make wonderful seats. Manual adjustable seats, that's something to keep in mind. Then going on the other side, normal pedals. Then you have here the classic wheel for the lights from Volkswagen. And yeah, it's simple, it's nice. Uh, it does the job perfectly. Then you can see it's extended on the dashboard, the same blue color has on the doors. The vents, those are the new vents. They feel good as you touch it, very good quality. I like them very much. Now, if you go on the upper side, we have soft material everywhere. You can see right here, it's soft material from, from here up everywhere on the dash soft material and the design of the dash is just wonderful start to be everything start to be premium guys going in the front everything start to be premium uh, visibility around the windows as i told you it's very good and also in the mirror there um, it's relatively good look at this look at the visibility it's super super good even in the back there you have great visibility around the windows you can see one more time the seat in the back and then here we have an armrest that you can extend it, also made by leather. You can open this up, you have some storage space here. Pretty good. 12 volt port, manual handbrake, also made with leather with glossy plastic button here. You have a storage space for your key, for example, here. You can leave your key. Uh, then you have two cup holders. Here in the front we come with also blue mat beautiful and then you have all those buttons here here's the driving mode you can change the different driving mode so we have uh, echo mode we have this normal mode sport mode and individual on the individual mode you can change uh, the way you want the driving modes the, the the steering wheel the motor and all that stuff then you have start stop engine button lock button this is assistant parking assistant and this is parking sensors you can activate and deactivate it from here. Then you have the start, stop engine button. I love this with red pulping uh, lights. Then we have a uh, wireless charging right there in the front. I like it. Two USB-C ports, super useful these days. I love that. So great job, great job, Seth, that you add this here. Um, super, super helpful. You can adjust the steering wheel up, down, forward, backward, in every position you want, super simple manually from behind the steering wheel down there. Uh, also wonderful design on the dash. As I said here, you have soft material everywhere and a nice trim. Also the vents there, those round vents look nice. And even here in the middle, um, they feel good, good as you touch it, good quality. Here you have also something new around the vents. It's a new design. And if I'm not wrong, this is also an LED light. I will try to show you a little bit later. Here is the glow box, relatively big as well. Quite big, you have also up there some space. Quite good, quite good. Uh, I should say it's nice. You have a speaker on the A-pillar down here. If we go up, you have a mirror, nice mirror, no light up here with a nice mirror and also here in the middle you have uh, information service button, SOS button. You have also normal bulb light here, no LED, a yellow light. And then you have the mirror and the visibility in the back that you can see it, it's relatively good. Quite, quite good, I like it. Now, let's talk a little bit about the climatic system. It's very simple, uh, it's relatively uh, classic, I should say. Uh, it's very simple to change. the things here also the car come with heated seats two position heated seats for you and the passenger in the front yeah it's nice simple 
um, you can turn it off, turn it on, physical button, so nobody should complain about it. The steering wheel, guys, it's simple but super nice. I love the design, it's kind of sporty, you have this flat uh, area down here, great grip, nice stitches, it looks nice and it's, it's perfect size and also it feels really, really, really light. On the steering wheel here you have the volume knob, some physical button for the cruise control and you can connect the cruise control, you can activate, it's activated from here, very simple, the lane assist, you can set it and stuff like that anyway. Uh, on the right side you have all the uh, controllers for the um, digital display so you can see right here you can change the different views in terms of digital display digital cockpit it's one of the best i love it i mean guys you have all the information right there you have the rpm you can choose what you want to see in the front there you can have the map in the middle you can have the map all over the screen uh, you have so many infos there and it's it's in my opinion it's one of the best on the market look at this how many things and how many in how many ways you can change the view there uh, it's lovely it's lovely i tell you it's it's one of my favorite and also in the middle there you can see the information about consumption about the media navigation adaptive cruise control and if you go to the consumption here you can go down up and you can choose wherever you want to see the trip how much range you have the consumption in this moment and stuff like that it's awesome the colors the brightness the, the resolution the visibility from the driver point of view it's nothing to say it's top 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 i should say it's premium now i want to talk a little bit about this multimedia system guys uh, it's a touch screen uh, right here not so many physical button but you have shortcut buttons right here on the side they are not buttons they are kind of touch buttons uh, but they are shortcuts you can go to navigation you can go to connectivity with uh, you can connect your android phone apple phone uh, mirror link and it's it's awesome i mean those functions are super super useful these days uh, then you have plus and minus the volume the audio uh, then you have stop you have a button to stop it and then here you have the same software as you have it on the newest cars just that the screen is a little bit smaller from, from uh, other, but it's very responsive. Something that I noticed is that it's very, very responsive. And you can see this is the home screen. And if you press this one here, you will go to the menu. Here's the menu. In the menu, you find the settings, the most important settings here. You can change also the language. It has a lot of language. Let's go to English now. Uh, in the English you have time date here in the settings you have the units kilometer miles you can change it from here system information down here you have also some kind of shortcut that you can add it you can add whatever shortcut you want if you want to add vehicle you have vehicle there it's already but yeah if you want to add for example driver assistant you have driver assistant there and then when you want to change it you simply press, for example, you press this one, go to navigation. You press this one, you go to media. Press this one, you go to radio. If you press this, this one, you go to telephone. If you press this one, you go to Android connectivity. If you press this one, you go to, to car settings or sound settings or car. And those are the, the safety features from the car. But let me go to the menu. Press this one, home. Press one more time and go to menu. In the menu here, you have the navigation. If you go to navigation, it's the latest is navigation uh, from SEAT. And you can see right here that it's work relatively fast. If you change, if you choose a destination, let me show you there. Let me take this out. Come on, take it out. Good. If you choose a destination, let me show you right here. You press start and you will see it's loading really fast. That's something that I noticed and that's something that I like very much when it's loading so fast. Also, you can uh, cancel it from here. Um, yeah, this is the navigation, guys. I don't want to go too much into details about it. It's a good one. It's one of the best. Driver assistance systems here is very important because from here you can change a lot of safety features like adaptive cruise control. You can choose the distance, you can activate and you can turn it on and off the front assist emergency brake lane assist ah lane assist you can activate deactivate it from here then you have all that driver settings good uh go back to menu and then you have the media full link for android auto and apple carplay the vehicle vehicle information are very important for most of you guys here you have information about the car if it has some errors or stuff like that the driving data you can see the consumption 
for the last kilometers. And then you have digital cockpit where you can uh, change different settings. You have also some extra settings here where you have the traction control, turn it on and off, the tire pressure, the lights, the background lights, for example. And you can see you have some background lights. You can choose here uh, the brightness of the background light. And it will show you down here where it's located. And let me, let me try to turn it on to see if it's work. Where is it? No, it doesn't have it. Why not? I think I see it on Ibiza, on the new Ibiza here, around here, around this. They have an LED. Ah, eh, yes, it has LED. Or inside there, if I'm not wrong. Anyway, let me, let me look forward. Maybe I can change the color. It's white right now. How can you change the color? All. Oh, and white, white and off. Why only white and off? How can you change the color? Anyway, I will look a little bit deeper. Mirrors and wipers, all kind of information, guys, about the car. You find it here. Units uh, as well. Let me go back to menu. Then you have the sound system. Here you change the sound system and all that settings for the sound system. Uh, menu buttons, volume. Go back. And on the other page, you have settings and store. Yeah, I don't know how to change the, the colors. I'm not sure if you can change the background light units yeah this is this one i already show you yeah i'm not sure if you can change the background color or it's just that white i think it's just that white normally it should work quite quite strange anyway light maybe here on light switch automatic light no this is for for the outside light background light yeah, probably it has only the white light, but I'm not sure about that. If you know something, guys, just let me know. I'm really curious about that. Anyway, this is the multimedia. Um, overall, guys, it's a great car, in my opinion. It's, it's lovely. Let me stop the engine for a second. It has also a nice graphic when you close the turn off the car. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, my conclusion after I review the car, after I drive it, after I see the car, is that it's a great car for the money so for example here in switzerland for 32,000 francs you can get uh, cheaper than that you can get probably a dacia duster uh, but it doesn't have close as good quality as it has this new seat uh, arona and in my opinion it's a good buy it's, it's a really good buy taking into consideration price technology safety comfort because the seats are super comfortable uh, the steering wheel is awesome and all all everything you touch here it's it's super super nice by the way i forget to show you something um i forget to show you something guys this is the stalk to change the gears and if you go to reverse um you will see that the car come with the camera that's something that i forget to show you and the resolution is not the best but it's good and it's very very helpful when you go in reverse other than that down here you have the drive mode and then you have the s mode the s mode is sport mode you can see also there it's changing directly in sport mode you don't have to go to the modes and then go yourself in sport mode so yeah that's something to keep in mind um anyway guys that was the review i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was useful for you I hope you get some useful information from here. If you have questions, ask me down below. Maybe I forget something. Maybe I didn't say something. Just ask me down there. Overall, it's a good car. It's, it's a trustable car. The engine, I think, in my opinion, it's also reliable. It's, it's fine for most of the normal driving, uh, for most of the people. The consumption, check out the test drive video if you want to find out more. Guys, my rating for this new Seat Arona from 1 to 10 will be 9. Um, seven. This is my rating, taking into consideration price and quality. Yeah, it's a, it's a good rating. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. If you want to buy the car, check out Tehash Willy in Zurich. I will leave the link in the description. Check them out. Also, thank you very much for watching my video. I really appreciate that. Guys, what can I say? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you very much. Again, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.